All right, here now in his continuing attempt, uh, live from the uh, Bill Clinton Ballroom here at the Excelsior Hotel in Little Rock, Arkansas, here now in his continuing attempt to reassert political viability, billionaire industrialist and grassroots populist H. Ross Perot. Well, it's damn wide of you to have me on your show. <laughs> And I'm tickled pinkering if I have a feather duster up my butt to be able to join you all live right here in Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> you know, I grew up in Texas, just a stretched out hog toss across the line from Hope, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. so I feel right at home here. You know who grew up in Hope? No. That bad boy, Bill Clinton. And I'm an FOB of that SOB. Do you know that? Because <laughs> as you all know, the American people has told me to shove it as far as fixing them up with a fine third party's concerned. <laughs> so I'm making a big announcement on your radio program this morning. All good. I have decided I'm throwing in with Bubba. Pardon me? You know why? No. I'm throwing in with Bubba? No. Paula Corbin Jones, Amos. <laughs> like if Clinton didn't have enough of a load on him, with you know who lying about something every 10 seconds, the courts are taking the choke chain off the woman he tried to get to choke his chicken. <laughs> or cut on his white out or whatever the hell it was. Yeah. But that ain't the major problem, Amos. No. You watch. Old Bob Bennett will hang everything up till the boy's back here in Little Rock. Yeah. Anyway, I know what Bubba's got to do. Okay. I put it all down on the chart for you to make it plain. Sure. Here it is. Clinton re-election. Step number one. You see here? Mm -hmm. Dump Hillary. <laughs> the woman is killing him, Amos. You ask her what time it is, and she goes, Well, I cannot recall at this time ever having had a watch in my possession or a memory of a recollection of ever having had a watch. As you suggest, my recollection might recall me as once having had. <laughs> uh, pardon me, Amos, but as the steer said when he walked into the bar, that is bow slits. <laughs> of course, uh, that ain't all that's got him in difficulty. No. There's also the little matter of uh, where Webb Hubble writing a jailhouse tattletale for the HarperCollins people about Seth Ward, Susan Thomas's, Jim McDougal, David Wilkins, Castle Grandy, Vince Foster, Rose Law, Roger Altman, Cattle Commodities, Jim Blair, Tyson Chickens, Mike S.P., Madison Guarantee, Brother Roger, Ken Star, Ron Brown, Jennifer and Paul, and Locking These, and wherever the hell them dadgum old HRC villain records have been for the last two and a half years. <laughs> you know, just little stuff like that. Oh, sure. 44 mile of bad road, ain't right. right? Oh, and speaking of that, and uh, Jim Guy, are we going to get us something more than goat trails with knot holes in them to drive on this year's state? <laughs> Did the governor's road improvement deal get past the voters yesterday? Uh, no. no, sir. $3.5 billion seems like a lot to put a yellow stripe down 3.5 miles of road out of Little Rock, don't it? Oh, no wonder that chunky boy with the spray on hair, that preacher uh, Suckabee, whatever his name was, was against that thing. Yeah. It's just sad. Sad and stupid. Yeah. Hey, Amos, how do they vote in Arkansas anyway? Well, in a voting booth? Oh. Uh, because they all just file in the doze eats there and leave a knuckle print in floor grease. <laughs> I just wonder. Anyway, here's your bumper sticker. Four more years may make you reach for a rope, but I'm sticking with the dope from hope. <laughs> Which will fix exactly nothing, Amos, but uh, much obliged for having me on your show. <laughs>